Yo guys, it's uh, Deezer HD here. Uh, it's just a tutorial for R12 and R13. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to do some 3D based stuff, um, how to upload within 3D onto YouTube, etc. etc. Now, I know a lot of you will probably think I've stolen it from uh, Dawn Night Digital Universe or Jaltez from Project 4D, the stereoscopic look, but um, I've looked at them and I've taken like um, some knowledge of what they've uh, told us in the tutorial and I just thought I'd like uh, make my own and put it up to my channel so all the credit goes to them for learning about it and knowing how to do it but uh, I just thought I'd upload it to my channel so you lot could see. Uh, the first thing you want to do is just uh, Cinema 4D, this is R12 first. So, um, I just made a basic scene, I'm not going to really make anything good, I'll just put like uh, oops, 3D test and then just give it some depth or something. I'm, I'm really doing this really quickly. You'd obviously do something a lot different to this, but um, two seconds. I don't like it when it's in lowercase. Uh, and my mouse is frozen. The connection has been lost with my mouse. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. And um, let's just grab a sphere. This is basically in what I did in my uh, other intro. I'll show you in a sec. Like I, all I did was this was uh, just keyframe like sphere. I don't know. And just like this is a really basic thing to do, but. Uh, oh well, just to help you guys out, but I'm just showing you basically what we can do. And then we can go to, like, say, frame here. I don't know, just drag it right forward and just keyframe it. So basically, our animation is that. So that would be what looks like it's coming out of the screen. So basically, what you've got to do is have a camera from here, and you can just go like. Um, duplicate it and just call one left eye and one right eye yeah so firstly you'd render out the whole uh, thing all the way up to frame 90 with the left eye just click this so you're looking through this camera and then on the right eye you want to go over to where it says film offset X and just put in 1.5 in there and you can see it just moves over a little bit so if we this is the right eye this is the left eye yeah, so they're completely rendered out, and that's basically all you need to do is render those out as how you want. And uh, if I just click, we can close Cinema 4D now because say late they are rendered. We'll go over to Firefox, and uh, you'd upload them. So you can see this one here. We've got left eye for 3D test and right eye for 3D or whatever. And they're unlisted videos. You can see they're private. We don't need to see those on YouTube anymore. Uh, you then want to go to this link here, www.youtube.com forward slash editor underscore 3D. And then here you'd go down your videos and you could just drag in, like you can see I've got my right eye here, so that goes in the right section, and my left eye here to go in the left section. And basically it will put it in 3D for you, it just says an error has occurred because you need to publish it. But um, then once you've done that, you can. If I go into this, you can see I got 3D because when it's published, it you can see you, that it's you created using YouTube Video Editor. So you can change all the 3D settings. You can turn off 3D. So my basic animation was just these three balls spinning, and then you can see that that was my animation. So then um, if I turn back on 3D, you can see it's got all this 3D stuff like the two angles and stuff. And that was done in R12. I haven't actually made any any animations within uh, Cinema 4D R13 yet, so um, we'll have to see how that works out. But uh, for R13, you won't need this 3D video creator. I'll leave the link in the description for you. I'll just copy it now. And uh, what you'll need to do, let's open up uh, R13. As you can see, it takes quite a while. 
Sorry guys, I saw the reflection in my screen and I saw my brother was about to come in and he always makes loads of noise when he comes in so I thought I'd just pause it instead of having to restart the whole tutorial so uh, sorry about that. As you can see we're in R13 now so um, basically let's just create our really quick scene. Let's just get some text, we'll type the same thing in, 15 here, yeah. um, 3D. Done that twice now. Just uh, put it in the middle. Get a quick sphere, drag it up. You know the basic stuff that we did. Just do that keyframe it right. Say there. And just keyframe it there. And Again, we've got exactly the same animation of this ball just flying. Let's just say, put it there or something like that. We can just see it goes like bam into us. So uh, what you do in this one is you get a camera again, and we can go into our render settings and click stereoscopic. We can just move all of that a bit later on, and uh, we can go into our stereoscopic settings and put it in symmetrical. So now when I uh, if I put this down to 10 here yeah, and just render it it won't do anything but if we go into this view you can see we've got our 3D look the same as if we did it in R12 and we still get the same colours etc uh, just close down uh, Firefox we don't need it anymore but there you go you can see we've got it there and you can adjust um, in the camera you can see we've got a little 3D logo and we can like adjust the eye separation so like if I render it now you can see that the spaces between them are a little bit bigger and uh, I know I'm basically copying Project 4D's tutorial here but um, I thought you guys might want to know so please don't hate on me for that I'm just, I give all the credit to them so, uh, you can see that we've got our 3D test and you just render it as normal and you can just do the eye separation etc and uh, I know this isn't a very in-depth tutorial and stuff, but um, I haven't really researched into it as much as I could have, but I just thought I'd uh, upload as I haven't done many uploads. I've got a lot of schoolwork I've been doing and um, and all that rubbish stuff, I guess, so I'm really sorry about there being no uploads, guys. But um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, please comment on this video or on my channel just saying what you want, what you need to learn, and I'll do my best to try and uh, teach you how to do that so um, yeah thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video or upload or whatever I do so uh, peace guys